Hello again, this is Vildra. I am back with a new playthrough of Stardew Valley. Well, I say new. It's not new to me. This is my third proper playthrough, but I have done two playthroughs. I still consider myself a noob, although I have a little over 500 hours in the game. Uh, but I still consider myself a noob. The first uh, get playthrough where I got anywhere, I am in year 5. That was a heavily modded uh, playthrough. I had all, all sorts, uh, loads of mods. Uh, I changed the look of everything. I took every simplifying thing there was. And most of all, I nerfed the fishing. It wasn't a mod. You replaced the file with fish difficulties. Uh, and nerfed all the difficulties. Then I decided, well, I can't keep doing this. I need to learn how to play the game. So I started a second playthrough, which I also recorded. Well, I recorded the first one. It's uh, more than 230 episodes that I haven't posted. The second one, I wanted to go vanilla. So I restored the fish difficulties and uh, took out the mods. I think I kept maybe the automatic gates because that annoys me incredibly clicking the gates and them not opening or closing as I want. That one is also in year five now but after in, in spring year two I had two big events. I won the egg hunt. The only time I've won the egg hunt I'm notoriously bad at this game as I said and the second one was I got married and I noticed right after the wedding when I looked at OBS that uh, the OBS had shifted to a totally irrelevant and black win I think it recorded Smoppy Window and then it turned out it had done so the last three episodes so I threw away that footage but I kept playing because I like I like the playthrough I decided it's time to start over and it's not quite vanilla I have three mods in I have the auto animal doors that make sure to remember to open and close the doors on festival days and whatnot. I have automatic gates because that is my one of my two biggest annoyances in the game, clicking the gates. And I also have water bot, which uh, can auto water your plants for you. It doesn't save me any energy. It doesn't save me any time. It saves me a uh, whole lot of misclicks I'm so bad at it but I haven't nerfed the fish uh, the fish difficulties I'm notoriously bad at fishing which you will soon see I made this character it's a Vildra of course with red hair and green eyes as usual uh, favorite thing is coffee the farm is called Willow Farm she'll have a doggo and she's dressed in pink and I thought I'd try a different farm so this time I'm going to try the forest farm because I've never played anything but the standard farm. So here we go. And for my very special granddaughter. I want you to have this sealed envelope. No, no, don't open it yet. Have patience. Now listen close. There will come a day when you feel crushed by the burden of modern life. And your bright spirit will fade before a growing emptiness. When that happens, my dear, you'll be ready for this gift. Bye, Grandpa. Now let Grandpa rest. XX years later. Okay, this is the Jojo place. There I am. I look uh, 
weary. Oh my god, they have cameras on everyone. And there's even the skeleton at one desk. There it is. I guess it's time. Dear Vildra, if you're reading this, you must be in dire need of a change. The same thing happened to me long ago. I'd lost sight of what mattered most in life, real connection with other people and nature. So I dropped everything and moved to the place I truly belong. I've enclosed the deed to that place, my pride and joy, Willow Farm. It's located in Stardew Valley on the southern coast. It's the perfect place to start your new life. This was my most precious gift of all, and now it's yours. I know you will honor the family name, my dear. Good luck. Love, Grandpa. P.S. If Louis is still alive, say hi to the old guy for me, will you? Okay. It is time. Here we go. Hello, you must be Vildra. Hi, Robin. I'm Robin, the local carpenter. Mayor Lewis sent me here to fetch you and show you the way to your new home. He's there right now, tidying things up for your arrival. Fast right over here if you'll follow me. Okay. It's a new, it's a new layout. This is Willow Farm. No, oh, it's a mess. What's the matter? Sure, it's a bit overgrown, but there's some good soil underneath that mess. With a little dedication, you'll have it cleaned up in no time. And here we are, your new home. Ah, the new farmer. Welcome. I'm Lewis, mayor of Pelican Town. You know, everyone's been asking about you. It's not every day that someone new moves in. It's quite a big deal. So, you're moving into your old, to your grandfather's old cottage. It's a good house, very rustic. Rustic? There's one way, that's one way to put it. Crusty might be a little more apt, though. Rude. Don't listen to her, Vildra. She's just trying to make you dissatisfied so that you'll buy one of the house upgrades. Mm. Anyway, you must be tired from the long journey. You should get some rest. Tomorrow you ought to explore the town a bit and introduce yourself. The townspeople would appreciate it. Oh, I almost forgot. If you have anything to sell, just place it in this box here. I'll come by during the night to collect it. Okay. Well, good luck. Okay. I went to bed, apparently. Oh. 
What is this? Cute. And different from the other one. 15 parsnip seeds. Here's a little something to get you started. Mayor Lewis. Okay, let's... Oh, no. Let's watch. Welcome. Yes, 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 yes. The weather forecast for tomorrow. It's going to be a beautiful sunny day, yes, but I hope it's gonna rain on day three. Neutral. Living off the land. Okay, what you got? This one's for all your greenhorns out there. Chop wood and search for wild forage. Turn some cash, cash while waiting on your first harvest. Okay. Okay. Here we go. tools are in the wrong order let's see we want the hoe first and then we want the pickaxe and then we want the axe and then we want this is how we want it This is the water bot. Okay, I have one, one seed. myself a path. How do I get in there? Bildra, wait for my return on the dawn of your third year. Okay, that grandpa. Is there a map? Um, I want to make myself a chest.
to do some weeding first. This should uh, stop me from making a farm that looks exactly like every other farm I've ever tried to have. Oh, I love the music in this game. It makes me happy every time. Okay. Let's chop some trees. So many pine trees. Takes forever. question is should I go buy more seeds I I'm not sure because um, I don't I can't make a scarecrow yet I need to get out here Let's see, I have 55. Ish. Wood, I can make a chest. Four, four seeds. Okay, two parsnips and uh, maybe a potato. Let's make a chest. I feel like pink. Uh, I have very small, very little space. Okay. Let's uh, go forage and meet people. Uh, Marnie, are you here on Mondays? Hi. Hello, Marnie. Okay. Ooh, horseradish. 
I didn't bring any tools because I um, don't want to run out of stamina on the fainting. Let's make room for some lovely forage to spawn. I'll go down here another day with, uh, bring my axe, my pickaxe. Today I only want to pick up the weeds. Gosh, it's late already. I think I'll uh, pop around the pub to meet as many as possible. Let's see if there are any. No, can't pick you. Any, um, yes, these, what are they? Spring onions. Okay, let's go to the pub. I've forgotten how slow it is without coffee and or triple espresso. <laughs> I do love this game. It's uh it's got everything. Best game ever. Maybe. Hello. Hello. Hi Clint. I'm the town blacksmith. If you ever need an upgrade to your tools, I'm your guy. I don't know you. Why are you talking to me? Oh, well, I thought I'd introduce myself, but uh, I can. Uh, uh, hey, kid. Name's Pam. Hey, Pam. Nothing like a sip of the gooder stuff. Warm these old bones. Okay, you're repeating yourself now. Well, hello there. I'm Gus. Chef and owner of the Stardrop Saloon. Good evening. Can I get you anything? Oh, I don't have any money, I think. Well, I do, but I think I need to buy seeds. I'm not sure. I can read it on your face. You're going to love it here in Pelican Town. Hi, Emily. If you're ever looking for something to do in the evening, why stop by the saloon? That's where I, that's where I work. Yes, I can see. I'm here now. There weren't many here. Okay. Let's go see if there's a job. Sunday is Lewis's birthday. Is that all there is? Nothing is posted today. What are your... Are you close tomorrow? Closed on Wednesdays. Okay, so I can go have a peek tomorrow. Oh, 
gosh, it's dark. I do not have a glow ring. Let's see. No, I'm not going to throw any of that away. Well, not throw it away. I'm not going to sell it. I think um, I need those for the bundle for for the um, community. What's it called? Community center. Let's sleep. I'm gonna do two a days per episode. That's my plan. Hello there, just got back from a fishing trip. You should come down to the beach sometime. I got something for you. Nice. Hello, can we have the watering pot? Okay, okay. Let's fill it up. Put it in the chest. Um. Let's have an axe. I'm gonna chop down some trees. I'm not gonna chop the stumps quite yet because uh, uh, um, I don't get enough for my energy points. Takes too many hits for the amount of wood it gives. Just tidying up a little. I think by now Willy should be awake, so I'll put in stuff. I think I'll swing by Pierre and buy some seeds. I'm not sure what I'm gonna buy. Oh, look a squirrel. Let's see. There's a flower here. I want it. Maybe we can meet some more people. Say hello to someone here. Hello. No. I want to talk to you. Hey, Maru. Oh, aren't you the one who just moved in? I'm Maru. I've been looking forward to meeting you. Likewise. It's a pleasure to meet you. I'm Harvey, the local doctor. Hi, 
perform regular checkups and medical procedures for all the residents of Pelican Town. It's rewarding work. I hope you'll find your own work equally rewarding in time. Well, thank you, Harvey. I'm sure I will. Okay, uh, nothing posted. Hey, Pierre. Hey, it's Miss Vildra, the new farmer. I'm Pierre, owner of the local general store. If you're looking for seeds, my shop is the place to go. I'll also buy produce from you for a good price. A little agriculture should really inject new life into the local economy. Yeah, I hope so. What do you got? Okay. Uh, I need a bean, I think, for another cauliflower. Or the bundle. I think I also need gold parsnips. Let's have five of those. I can't change my mind now, can I? Oh, that was silly. I shouldn't have done that. Abigail. Oh, that's right. I heard someone new was moving on to that old farm. It's kind of a shame, really. I always enjoy exploring those overgrown fields by myself. Sorry to ruin your, your fun. Oh, you aren't exactly how I imagined, but that's okay. I'm Jody. It's a quiet little town, so it's very exciting when someone new moves in. Having a farmer around you could really change things. Well, we'll see. I work part-time at Gas Saloon. It pays the bills. Yeah, 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 you got your yoga thing. Have you met everyone in town yet? That sounds exhausting. Let me follow you in. I'm special. Do you want this? No, no, no. What? Hello. You must be Vildra, the new farmer. I'm Caroline. My husband runs the general store here. And have you met my daughter Abigail? She's the pale one with the purple hair. Uh, uh, did she not like that? Did I make a mistake? Well, uh, she doesn't hate me at least. Oh, here's Marnie again. My nephew Shane has been staying at my pl place the last few months. He helps me out with the chickens, so I'm not complaining. Okay, I'll let you pass. So, how was your first night in the old cottage? It was okay. Your grandpa used to complain about the rickety old bed, but I think deep down he actually loved that house. I think so too, and I think I might as well. I've never seen a dog there. Hey, you're the new girl, huh? I think we're going to get along great. I'm Alex. Hello, Alex. See you around. Okay. So, up. Hello. Cut scene. Hi there, miss. I heard there was a newcomer in town. Good to finally meet you. Ah. 
I'm still trying to unwind from a month out on the salty seas. It was a big haul. Sold a lot of good fish. Finally saved enough to buy me a new rod. Yeah, I want you to have my old fishing rod. It's important to me that the art of fishing stays alive. And hey, maybe you'll buy something from the shop once in a while. Yay, I got a fishing rod and I won't be able to catch anything with it. We'll see. I'll try once. There's good water here in the valley. All kinds of fish. Oh yeah, my shop's back open now, so come by if you need supplies. I'll also buy anything you catch. If it smells, it sells. Oh, that's what my old pappy used to say anyway. Okay. If I can't catch a fish with this rod, I'll go and buy the beginner's rod. Oh gosh. Here we go. Oh gosh. Sardine. No, oh, that was a misclick. Oh, shoot. So bad. Oh gosh, anchovy. This is the worst, uh, hardest fishing in any game I've played. <sighs> Why did I even try? Need to get the skill up fast. So uh, the green thing is a bit bigger. It's going to take a long time to get used to again. I'm trying to tap it really gently and then I press too long once and I'm done for. Don't go down, I can't go down. It's hopeless because uh, if you can't drop it because it just... 
It just bounces at the bottom. This, this is my nightmare. Yeah, you stay still. The ring. Four. Okay. I should go sell. No? Go sell. Don't need cop. I think I might need those. I don't remember. Oh, I'll wait. I'll wait. Sardine. Well, I can sell one then because I won't, I won't need two. Can I talk to you as well? Ahoy there. It's nice to see young folk moving into the valley. It's not a very it's not very common these days. Okay. Is there any forage here? Yes. <gasps> okay, we need to repair this. 300 pieces of wood. Okay. Let's see if we meet someone else. Here's Alex. Hi, I'm Sam. I mean, Sam. Good to meet you. Oh, here's Elliot. Why did I call him Alex? Ah, the new farmer we've all been expecting and whose arrival has sparked many a conversation. I'm Elliot. I live in the little cabin by the beach. It's a pleasure to meet you. I married him in my first playthrough. I like him. He's nice. Already talked to you. Let's take uh, this way home. I didn't bring my Penny. Oh, hello, I'm Penny. Okay, hello. Let's see if I can get in this way. I didn't bring any tools. I hope it's not overgrown since yesterday. I think I need to see if I can get some, some tree seeds so I can make some train snacks. I'm going to plant some more stuff. I need to eat something though because... Um, What could I eat? I could eat the horseradish. Yeah. I'll eat the spring onion. Because I think that is not needed for a bundle. Okay. Yes, let's eat it. I have five beans.
How did I plan this? I didn't. Seaweed. Full. Well, let's do two of these and two of these. And oh gosh. I have to eat something. I have to eat something. Um I'll eat the sod I'll eat the sardine. No. I need to water them as well. Okay. No. Oh. Uh, I'm gonna need. What am I gonna do? Tomorrow is gonna rain. I should go fishing then. I don't think I need two of these. So I can sell one. Tiny cells, tiny cells. Yes, let's see. Level one forage. Yes, now I can make the field snack. 50. Well, 50 is a lot in this situation. Well, that'll be it for this one. Thank you for watching and I will see you in the next one. Bye.